I want to show you how to set up a live mirror effect in Adobe Illustrator where anything you draw automatically gets mirrored onto the other side. Now this isn't a terribly complicated system to set up in Adobe Illustrator but it's not something that's completely obvious either and I haven't seen it mentioned anywhere else so I figured I'd share it with you today. So the first thing that I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a new document. Just to show you there's no tricks here and I'm just going to name it live live mirror and any size will do. Okay. The very first thing you need to do is you need to set up what I call bounding box. Because what this is is this is an effect applied to a layer and we need to define uh, an extent of it. So I have an 8 by 8 and a half by 11 page so I'm going to go ahead and click on here and set up a 12 by 12 rectangle and go ahead and center it. Alright, so that's pretty great. I'm also going to go ahead and add some guides. So I'm going to show my rulers and I'm going to drag some guides out to here. And I have smart guides on so that these guides are automatically snapping to my center point. Make sure this is selected again, so I can snap to there. Now the only reason I want these is so I can tell where I'm mirroring. Now all my mirroring has to take place inside this box. Okay, let me go ahead and make a paint stroke as well. I just use the paintbrush, but you can use any brush you want, or any shape or any drawing mode at all, because anything inside this layer is going to get mirrored to the other side. Now the one thing that you have to remember when you're setting up this bounding box is that it cannot have a fill. So let's go ahead and make that outline only. If it has a fill then this doesn't work at all. Alright so let's go ahead and apply an effect to this layer. If you remember you can apply effects to individual objects by just simply selecting the object and going up to an effect here like adding an effect and that's great. You can also apply effects to groups but you can also apply effects to layers and to access that you click on this little circle down here in your layers to make sure that is selected and then up in your appearance tab you can see now that this is layer and under it is contents and opacity and such and such. What I want to do here is I want to apply an effect to the entire layer so I'm going to go ahead and click on effects here, add new effect, and distort and transform. It's getting a little bit off the screen here, but what I want to do, let me just drag this out here. I'm going to apply an effect, distort and transform, and a transform. All right. So what I want to do here is I want to mirror this. So reflect on X, turn on preview. So this is a mirror. Set up one copy. And you can see I've got this mirror effect already taking place. Okay. Let me set this back down here. Okay, so how does this work? Well the effect is pretty much done. The only thing I want to do here is I want to go ahead and lock my bounding box and my guides. And let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and select a paintbrush I've already created. You know, maybe this one. All right. Now, anything I draw in this layer automatically gets mirrored to the other side. Now, if you draw outside of the bounding box, it breaks this whole system. So if you're drawing on an 11 by 17 page or poster size or something very, very large, you might want a larger bounding box. All right, so what is happening? What is happening is, since I applied the, applied the effect to the layer, every single object or path within that layer gets the effect applied to it. So I have my mirroring set up and everything is great. Now, one thing to know about this is that the thing you draw will always be on top no matter which side you draw it on. So I'm going to be drawing some yellow circles here. 
So those are automatically mirrored. If I draw a yellow circle over here, you'll see that that doesn't look like it has been mirrored. Okay, and that's because this one is on top of that one. So layer order is important when you're doing this. So it's not a perfect system. It's not taking what's on the right side and just automatically flipping it to the left side. It's taking the objects and putting them on either side. So as I draw circles, you can see that the thing I draw is on top. All right, so just kind of be aware of that, that you do get this kind of mirroring going on this way. But that's pretty much the only downside of this system. And it's really, really great for illustrations when you're doodling or trying to brainstorm in Adobe Illustrator. Now, how do we back out of this? It looks like a squid man. All right, so how do we back out of this? So if I like what I have, but I want to start tweaking it now, and I want to start editing the sides individually, what I can do is I can select my artwork. I can go to Object, Expand, Appearance. And that will turn my mirrored work into non-mirrored work. So once you're ready to start working on it in a non-mirrored sense, or if you want to move it around, you're going to go ahead. You're going to want to go ahead and go up there and expand the appearance. So object, expand appearance, and you'll get that back. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this little video. I've found this to be a really nice technique, and I haven't really seen it explained anywhere else. So I wanted to go ahead and share it with you today. All right, thanks.